Hi, this is the second video which we're going to explain more about the tablet as a, as a, as a navigating tablet from London Chart Plotters. So, we just opened it up and sweep the screen um, and you can see we've got apps we've already put on here for you. Marine forecast, fine ship, marine weather, tide times and a, and a grid program. They all need an internet connection which will be on your Wi-Fi before you leave. Um, or you've got data if you put a SIM card in there provided you're in cell rank. Um, you can't leave it till you're 15 mile offshore and try and use them because they won't work. Um, GPS test, marine navigator and Polaris all work anywhere because they don't use data from the internet. Um, so what we'll do is we will open marine navigator and it will open up exactly how you left it last time. So over here on the left, we've got, uh, it can't see any satellites because we're in the ground floor flat. Um, there's so much concrete above us, it, it won't see anything in here. If it did, and we were moving, would have the course and speed over the ground. If you just sweep it, it will give you satellite statuses, which is how many satellites it's seeing, and your position. As soon as it does know where you are, the screen would jump, and it would centre over where you are, which is London, if it would, if I walked outside. And this would say, all used and what have you. You can then zoom in, either with your fingers, or just like this, we're going in onto the Thames. And if you move, they'll all link on as you go. So you never run out. You go all the way down the tanks. Um, you can zoom in more, more. See, it's still very lovely and clear. Again, now that's starting to just get a bit blurry because you're zooming in too much. You wouldn't have a chart on your table with the River Thames that wide on it. Let's put it that way. Um, so you can zoom out. But of course, if you're having a look around, oh, we are seeing some satellites. There's two satellites there. We need more. We've got three now. This might even lock on. Um, it will keep dragging you back to the middle of the screen. You have to touch this boat one to a hand. We are locked on. The boat picture's appeared. If I go to the hand now, you'll see we are North Bermondsey, which is spot on. And there's all the satellites we can see. There's our position. Um, and there's our course over the ground, which is zero. Speed over the ground is zero. And if you sweep it again, it goes back to course over the ground. You can zoom out. But if you try and move the chart now and have a look somewhere else, just say, so you want to have a look in there. It's just dragged me back. You see, because it wants me in the centre of the screen. So you'd alter the boat to a hand, and now you can have a look wherever you want, and it's telling you how far away you are from the centre of the screen here. Um, so that's how you can use it. Now, you could use it, I'm going to change it back to a hand, uh, a hand so that we can have a look. If you can imagine you were sailing along, you don't actually have to do routes. You would be going along across Pool Bay. Um, and you'd have this zoomed in to how you want it. And be in the centre of the screen. And as you're going, so you'd be going across here. You'd think, oh, I'll bet turn left here a bit. See, you could, it's almost you could use it like a car sat nav, and it's giving you the position all the time where you are, and it's actually telling us how far away we are from this point 90, 90 miles and the bearing and the degrees. Um, if I go back to the boat, warmth back to London. How about that? Okay, um, this is automatic charts which is how you really want to leave it. Don't worry about it, just leave it on automatic. Um, if you do put it on manual, it will just lock you onto one chart and keep you there until you go back to automatic. 
you got True North, um, True Course, uh, Course H, Course Up, and back to True North. Uh, we want it on True North, really. Uh, you've done that one, that's the hand. It gives you control of where you're looking at. Puts the GPS in control of where you are. Uh, zoom in, zoom out, as well as with the fingers. This one, import. That's for getting more charts in there. But we've done that. Help, help contents. Tap help contents. There's a full manual. So if you want to know how to do a route, tap routes. Open and save routes. Follow routes. Tells you how to do it all. AIS, how to do that. Marker, how to do markers. Um, we will do all this in other videos. Um, but that's where that is. Go back there again. Help. Update app. Don't update the app. It's not the Google Play app. It's an OEM app. You can't sell Google Play apps. So I'll do that for you there. Um, you've got logging. That's for recording a track so that um, it shows you where you actually went, whereas a route is where you want to go. Because um, you can't follow it, you might get blown off or whatever. Um, routes, there's your sort of route manager, um, but we will do that as a special one. Um, waypoints, again, we will do that as a special one. Settings. Uh, we've set this up as best we can as to how we think it should be set up for you. Um, so we stop the screen going off. We keep the GPS all on all the time that it, that it is active. Um, we're in a power saving mode. We want to see the chart outlines. We want to show the waypoints. Um, the compass only works if the tablet's got a magnetometer in it. And this doesn't. So that's turned off. Um, automatic chart switching you obviously want. And then you've got the AIS section. You need a Wi-Fi AIS receiver or a Wi-Fi AIS transponder to work this bit. Um, we do sell them. Quark are recommended by us. Um, and then you set this up according to how your transponder is. If you buy one from us, this, again, this is already set up for you. Um, and that is that. So to get out of menu navigator, just slightly swipe the screen, always brings you the back key, which gets you out back there. Don't forget, always turn the tablet off properly. Long hold the power, confirm, double confirm, power off. And that's Marine Navigator, just a general overview. Um, the next third video will be on routes. Okay.